into the get into God's word whenever you feel tempted, man. And I'm speaking for myself. Like I said, guys, I'm very vulnerable. I'm not gonna come here act like oh I'm Mr. Per Mr. Perfect man, Mr. Per no, no. I, I I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. I'm a I'm a sinner. I sin every single day. I. Uh, welcome to 75 Hard Spiritually and Physically Day 3. Um, so yeah, we just took a cold shower. Um, trying to do that every morning. Um, man, um, the first day was rough. But like the third day, which is today, low-key felt like a lot better. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, it's, it's like literally therapy, bro. Like, taking a cold shower every morning is literally therapy, man. Uh, so I just took one, man. I feel so alive. I feel great. I'm ready to start my day. So, um, yeah, I just want to check in with y'all. Uh, welcome to day three. And, um, you know, I'm about to go on my walk, uh, spend some time with God. And, uh, yeah, we're going to come back, eat breakfast. And then uh, the gym today is very simple. I'm just going to do a little bit of cardio. And then I'm going to do some abs. And I'm coming back home and probably edit some videos. Because um, I have a lot of videos to edit. So, yeah. So, um, welcome to day three, man. I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far. If you are, please don't forget to like this video and leave a comment down below, man. And, uh, yeah. Uh, see you guys in a bit. What's up, y'all? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little um, abs and cardio. Um, that's all I had for today. Um, as you guys, as I already told you guys, I'm following a whole plan. Um, it's constructed uh, for my uh, shows, my bodybuilding shows this summer. So, um, and like that, that's why I'm doing a lot of like, you know, I'm not doing 75 hard exactly how 75 hard is supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Because I have to follow my plan, but I am doing a routine. I'm drinking a gallon of water a day. I'm reading 10 pages of 10 pages of a book every single day. I am uh, make sure I go on a walk every morning. That's like, you know, I'm still doing it. So, you know, I know hopefully I don't get some comments like that's not 75 hard. You know what I'm saying? But like, you know. Um, you know, everyone, everyone is different. You know, I'm still doing, I'm still going hard for 75 days. Um, so, yeah, man. And also, um, I don't know. I did record a, <laughs> I did record a little physique update with this um, abs, abs and cardio. Um, I don't know if I'm comfortable enough to post it because I'm really, I'm really not happy where my physique is at. But I know I was balking for for at least a year, or so um, I know I can't be like all oh, shredded right right away. So I might just be vulnerable and share it with y'all. Um, and let me know in the comment section, man. Uh, it's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to share. Um, <clears throat> things that you're not comfortable sharing so I know I might, I, might, I might upload some clips of me posing and stuff you know I'm not quite where I want to be yet but I know I just started this is only week one so I can't really like oh 
Ugh, where's my where, where's my ads? Why is my ads not popping up? That's not realistic. You know, I gotta set up, set realistic goals for myself. And um, yeah, I'll be vulnerable with you guys. So I'll probably upload a few a few clips of me posing and stuff. So um, yeah. So today was pretty uh, pretty light so far. Um, I am working today, so I'm probably not gonna do as much. So probably just do this devotion with you guys, do this Bible study, and then uh, go to work because I work nights, like I said. So um, I'll be at work all day for the rest of the day so yeah so um i really hope you guys are enjoying those uh videos on uh, 275 hard i'm really trying y'all i'm really trying it's just it's really hard because i'm by myself i'm editing all my videos by myself so it's just hard man uh like yesterday i was so tired man like i had no energy to do i had no energy to do anything but you know i pulled through i pulled through god helped me pull through so um yeah so just really excited uh for this journey and uh i know it's gonna pay off so yeah so if you like the videos make sure you, if you like the videos make sure you hit the like button um and subscribe to the channel to continue to follow the journey um so yeah let's uh get into this devotion so the verse of the day is matthew 4 verse 10. it says then said Jesus unto him, Get thee, hen get thee hence, Satan, from it is, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord your God, and only thou shalt, and only, and only shalt thou serve. So basically, um, that was uh, the first verses we, uh, regarding Jesus being tempted uh, in the. Uh, for after fasting for 40 days and 40 nights and then the, uh, the Satan came to him trying to tempt him with uh, riches of this world um, all those things with bread blah 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 because he was eating he wasn't drinking for 40 days um, it's just it's crazy how you know God Jesus you know the creator of this world that has everything he already created he created everything he has everything so it's crazy how the enemy would come in to tempt him but obviously i get the reason why because he was god in the flesh you know he was god in human form so he felt every emotion that we did every desires every temptation that we went through that we go through as human being he felt those feelings so to let us know that we are not alone so he knows what we're going through he understands our pain he understands our cry you know what i'm saying so it's just you know it's very fascinating to see that um so yeah let me make sure my mic is on because ye yesterday my mic wasn't on but we still got the video done <laughs> so yeah the devotion continue says um like i just said it is it is striking that jesus who later asserts that he could call down 12 le legions of angels to assist him at any time chooses to face the temptation of the devil in the wilderness with nothing but wor the word of god that is crazy that's how powerful po that's how powerful the word of god is man that's how powerful it is which is the same which is the same and only weapon that we have against Satan's temptations as well. So whenever you feel tempted by the enemy, go to God's word. I believe I uh, talk about something similar to this in my previous days. But yeah, bro, whenever you feel tempted, whenever you feel like you 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 don't know what to do, um, man, I'm really struggling with this temptation. Like I really want to do this, man, but I know it's wrong. But literally, crack open your Bible. Be like holy spirit help me get through this help me get through this right now i don't want to do this i don't want to go back i want to keep moving forward i want to keep trusting you help me get through this right then and there get into god's word bro the temptation goes away man the desires goes away because you you know what you want you know the battle is between the flesh and the blood it is it's between flesh and blood it's between principalities of rulers of the darkness of this world uh, i believe that's in ephesians 6. um so you really not battling against this world bro it's spiritual bro everything that you're going through is spiritual man it's spiritual so get into the get into god's word whenever you feel tempted man and i'm speaking for myself like i said guys i'm very vulnerable i'm not gonna come here act like oh i'm mr per mr perfect man mr per no no i i i'm a sinner 
I'm a sinner. I'm a, I'm a sinner. I sin every single day. I sin without knowing that I'm sinning. So I need God. I need to be in God's word every single day. I need to feed my spirit every single day. Because when I was living the lukewarm life, I was, I, was feeding my, I was feeding my flesh every single day. But now that I, 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 I turn, I repent, now I want to feed, I, I have the desire to feed my spirit every single day. Even when I don't want to. Because sometimes I don't be wanting to. I be wanting to do, not today, I, I, I got, I'll got. do it tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it real. I don't know about y'all, but I'm keeping it real with y'all. Um, so, yeah, let's continue. Um, it says, it says, it is, uh, it is as if Jesus is showing us just how powerful, just how effective God's word, God's word is in the midst of the, of the, of spiritual battle so that we will trust each strength for our own struggles. Jesus three times faces Satan's three temptations by quoting the Bible. What other tool could could we hope for that we that the very one Jesus himself wielded in times of personal temptation to the word of God? Like that's why we serve such a good God. He literally painted the perfect picture for us you know what i mean the perfect picture you know i'm god in the flesh i can call 12 legions of angels to come help me right now but you know what i'm gonna set the example i'm gonna set the bar i'm gonna set the bar I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this is what i need this is what you guys gotta do imagine if, if jesus can do it imagine if we do it what will happen in our life what would change you know what i mean again I'm speaking from experience. I'm still speaking to myself till this day. But are we gonna speak about this to my to myself till I die? Cause I'm merely just a human being. Um, but yeah, so it continues. But these verses do not just magically appear to our minds in the moment that we need them. We must be reading, memorizing, listening to, observing God's word in every way pos in every way we possible we possible can. We must be we must be people of the book, Bible, steps, soldiers in the kingdom of Christ. Exactly, that's perfect. That's perfect. A lot of times, well, when I feel tempted to do things that I'm not supposed to do, let's 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 let's, let's be real. Lust. A lot of times, when I, when I feel tempted to do to do. To, 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 to lust You know to fornicate I ain't gonna lie with you The word of God don't come to my mind right away The Holy Spirit is telling me You shouldn't be doing this That's not right But sometimes but I keep, The more you buy into it The more you put yourself in that situation The harder it gets for you to get out of it Like it will literally It has to be like an Instant change you think of it, you feel like you want to do it, boop, you turn. But the more you dwell on it, bro, the harder it gets. The harder it gets. You have to keep God's word in your mind constantly. You have to constantly keep feeding your spirit. You have to constantly reading the word. You know what I'm saying? And it's hard. It's hard. It's not easy. It wasn't easy for me. I had to give up a lot of things. I had to give up my pride. I had to give up my. Uh, I, had, I had to give up so many things for me to like lock in. You know what? I gotta be disciplined. I gotta do this. God bless me with all those all those things that I have in my life. Why is he not first? Why is he not like you know what I'm saying? Why is he not first? Why am I just treating him like some genie whenever I need him? Oh God, please help me. I'm struggling right now. God, please help me. You know what I'm saying? He, God is not a genie. He's not a genie. I'm sorry to break it to you, but he's not a genie. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, let's continue. Because it's almost over. Jesus knew the right answer from God's word at the right time for the right temptation. We must strive to know and do the same. It is only then that we will be able to we will, we will be able to with authority and conviction repel the approaches of Satan's effectively I 
ain't got no words, y'all. <laughs> I'm trying to find my thoughts, but for real, um, there's like obviously there's like different temptations for different things. You know what I'm saying? So you really have to be locked in in your word to know what you're getting tempted in, what what's your temptation and what to use. That what the Bible says about that certain temptation. You know what I'm saying? Like com like comparison. Like a lot of us, especially in this day and age, we compare ourselves to a lot of people with like social media, bro. Oh my God, look how look how good they got it. Well, like, why am I not like? You know what I'm saying? We always comparing ourselves to other people. It's like maybe it's not your time yet. Comparison is the thief of joy. I don't know the exact verse, but I know it says comparison is the thief of joy. Comparison will steal your joy. If you guys know the exact verse I'm talking about, let me know in the comment section below. Cause I ain't gonna come in here and act like I don't know the whole Bible. I don't. I don't. I'm sorry. Like I don't know the whole Bible. I'm just trying to spread God, the gospel. <laughs> I'm just trying to spread God's word. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, yeah. Basically, it's, it's easy, man. It's not easy. It's not easy. But like, you know, once you, the more you sp spend more time with God, the more you uh, sp spend uh, more time in His Word, the easier I feel like it gets. You know what I'm saying? You get like you get stronger. It's like working out, man. The more consistent you 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 you, you go at it, the stronger you get. You start seeing definitions in your body. That's like that's literally with the spirit. You start seeing definition in the spirit. You start barking up in the spirit, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Um, I really love making those type of videos. I just don't like the editing part of it. But uh, <laughs> um, I love you guys. Like I said, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to continue to follow the journey. Um, you guys are awesome. Um, and uh, thank you for all the support so far. And uh, don't forget to like, comment. And uh, let me know if I said anything that offended you or anything at all that I, I was wrong about. Like I told, like I'm, I'm gonna keep saying in every video, I'm willing to learn. I'm not perfect. I'm just, I'm merely a, a human being just trying to spread the gospel. So um, yeah, so uh, I love y'all, and I hope y'all have a blessed day, and uh, stay safe.